Welcome back to What's in the Box. Last week we found out what was in the Detective Pikachu case file box, and this week we have more Pokemon cards because uh, I fell down that rabbit hole. And we're going to look at what's in the uh, Mewtwo GX box. Um, this is kind of the next, it's the next level as far as contents are concerned. The Detective Pikachu one contained two uh, regular trading card booster packs. No, that's not right. That's not right at all. The other one contained one regular booster pack, two um, Detective Pikachu specific packs, uh, the Detective Pikachu card, and a coin, which we've lost forever. Um, this one is exactly double. It contains four Detective Pikachu packs, two additional booster packs, a code for the Pokemon Online trading card game. That was also in the in the Pikachu one as well. And then there's a foil promo card and then an oversized card, which is um, the replacement for the coin. Again, never going to see it again. This one's also packaged a little bit better and hopefully it's a little easier to get into. So let's, uh, let's crack it open. Pikachu was a little bit of a pain in the butt to get to. That's a lot better. Look at that. So right off the top, this one's really nice. It has a lot of purple in it, which I'm digging. P uh, Mewtwo isn't exactly one of my favorite Pokemon, but there's the big oversized foil card. Looks pretty nice. See the foiliness of it. Looks neat. Um... This is like the second stage in the um, Detective Pikachu Pokemon card box stages, I guess. Um, the one we did last week was the smallest. This is the next step up with double. The next step up is Greninja GX and Charizard GX, and those each have uh, five of the Detective Pikachu packs along with two trading card games and a coin and the foil card and the big one and then there's a lunch box that is even more than that i think it has seven and three or maybe three or four maybe i'm not exactly sure on the numbers but um yeah lots of pokemon cards to unbox and open and look at so if you watched the video last week oops we have these these are the four bam detective well hang on let me get my hand off the important print detective a pikachu pow very cool um for those of you who are new uh, welcome uh, these each contain four cards so we'll look at 16 of them and then there are two of the um booster packs that contain 11 cards, I think. It says 10, but it says that it has, like, 10 and an extra. So, uh, like, 10 and an energy card or something. So, uh, 10 plus 1 is 11. Just, just throwing that out there. Um, so, we have all of that to look forward to. Hopefully that isn't, like, legible. I don't think it is. It's fine. If you get it, you get it. Uh, we have the small version of the foil card. Boy, it, it is really reflective. Okay, I gotta smudge it up a little bit. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And then behind it is a card with a code for um, a digital online trading card game. I don't know. I don't know. So here we go. Pack number one. Detective Pikachu... We have a bunch of um, Magikarps, or, well, two Magikarps and two Snubbles and two something else's. I don't remember. I don't remember a uh, card for the, or code for the online card. Fine. Cool. I'll make sure that those get put separately so they don't end up together. Hopefully this is the right way. I think it is. But, uh, 
I should also do nah, whatever. Uh, hopefully these are the right way. So we'll just take a shot and look at the first one. Oh, a ditto. Dope. That's a new one. He looks pretty. Oh, he looks so happy. Look at how happy this Goober looks. He kind of looks like um, Slime Rancher. Like enemy? No. Slime Rancher slime, I guess. Like they could do a Slime Rancher like ditto Pokemon crossover. And it would totally fit in into Slime Rancher. Slime Rancher, by the way. Great game. Next up is this thing. Okay, cool. I think we have two of him already. Oh, Psyduck. I could not tell what that was. Psyduck. Cool. I don't think I don't think we have Psyduck. Finally, a Lickitung. Lickitung might be new. I'm not sure. The good news is, ditto. Ditto, new. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I think I read somewhere between between the last video. Hang on. Between the last video and this one, I read, I wasn't going to interrupt my, okay. Yeah, are, you, are you done now? Me? Um, between the last video and this one I read, there aren't a ton of cards in here, so we're probably going to end up with a bunch of duplicates. Um, but always, I always start with this and just pull it out. Um, I think there are like 26 or something. I read 26 somewhere, and then someone told me when I was, when I was buying these that there were only like 17. So I don't really know how many there are somewhere in that range but it, it's a very small very small deck so i'm assuming that when we get towards the end there are going to be a lot of duplicates uh so yeah here's card number one it's a duplicate it's a mr mine card number two is a uh, bulbasaur that's a good one i like that one looks nice Card number three is it? Okay, well, cool. Glad we didn't go uh, too many cards in before we got a Magikarp. And finally, that's not okay. Well, we have those already. So I think I think we had at least a Mister Mime, and there may have been a Bulbasaur that was just in a different just in a different spot. Cause I don't know if he's I don't know if he's new. Maybe, maybe next time I shouldn't film them so far apart. That might be a good idea. Um, all right, pack number three, still the, still the card. And then the four, number one. Ooh, Machamp. Look at him. Look at him, taking care of the cross card or the cross uh, uh, people. What? What? That didn't make any sense. He's uh, making sure people get safe where places. Let's uh, hang on for one second. Let's take a Pokemon opening timeout and get a get a little uh, blast to do. A little a little Baja blast should wake us up a little bit. Oh, is that better? Are we awake? Are we awake? Ah, full of, all right, here we go. Full of caffeine. Full of caffeine. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Card number two. Oh, a Charmander. That's a good one. That's a good one. This this is off to a good start. Little little fire heavy, but that's okay. Card number three. A Jigglypuff. Okay. Not not bad. Not bad. Um, I haven't seen it, but Magikarp? What do you ruin it, Magikarp? You ruined a good, solid pack of cards. With your fishiness. Do you think in... In Pokemon World... I don't know what you would call it. 
Is it canon? Do you think they're like Magikarp sticks? Because like Magikarp's the the fish, right? So if you have fish sticks, is it just made out of Magikarp? Also, how does that um, South Park episode work? Because I, I don't think the joke translates. Card number one. Hey, Ditto. Ditto's got a buddy. Card number two. <sighs> card number three. Okay. And card number four. All duplicates. All duplicates and all duplicates that we got um, today, at least. So... Oh, that was it, by the way. That was that was the final. That was the final. What what a dud! What a dud fourth pack. <laughs> um, I'm, before I get too far into this, this one is just sun and moon. <clears throat> um, so that's the next pack. We're getting through this one quick. Getting through it very quickly. Oops. I opened that incorrectly. I didn't want to open it like that. Another code. And lots of those. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so it is 11 cards. I'm not wrong. Here we go. Give us some good stuff. Give us some good, good stuff. I might have to burp. Do I have to burp? Kind of was the answer. To that question. Card number one. Is that... Oh. Carja bug? Uh, when I looked at it in the monitor, it kind of looked like a bus, and I got very excited, and then it's just that thing. Okay. Card number two. What is that? Oh, is that a... Oh, yeah, dragon hair. Cool. That's a good one. That's a good card. As in, I don't know if it's actually a good card. It's just, I like it. Card number three, Poison Barb. I don't, this might be a good card. I don't care. Garbage. Card number four, Energy. Garbage. Garbage. Card number five. Ooh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Holy shit. That is actually awesome. I don't know if you can tell or not. There is a little bit of texture on it. So that's kind of cool. That is really cool. This is so far this is the best card I've pulled. I'll put I'll put that even I'll put that in a special spot just for fun. Card number who cares? Oh, this one's good too. That's two goods in a row. I love the grouthy art. I like that the card is reflective but not the picture. Um, that might sound sarcastic, but I actually, I do really like that. Um, this is, that's really cool. If it wasn't for that Lapras, that would be like front runner for number one, but that Lapras got pulled. And I mean, right before it, all I had to do was sink down like three cards and then Grouthy would have at least had like one shining moment at the top. You know what I mean? Whatever this is. Oh, Pharaoh. Okay. Kind of cool. I don't know. All these cards are kind of doomed because, uh, you know, grubbing. Okay. All right. All these cards. Nothing. None of these cards. None of that. None of these cards can be as cool as that Lapras, or even that Grousy. Drowsy though, walking on the beach. Now officially the grossest Pokemon because beaches are disgusting. Card number 10. This thing. Whatever the hell it is. Crow. Crab. Crab brawler? Crab brawler? Crab, crab brawler? Crab brawler? I don't know. Kind of neat. His, uh, his little claws. I like the coloration of him. I don't know how well the... Um, I don't know how well the camera picks it up, but... He has like purple and yellow and blue and it actually looks nice. Looks good with the orange card. Finally. Oh, that's cute. A little alligator guy. Sandy. 
Uh, not to be confused with sandy cheeks at all. Just regular sandy. So, let's see. And the Mewtwo card isn't that great. Well. So far, I'd say the three best cards we pulled are the, obviously the Lapras GX, the um, Grouthy regular, and the Ditto. So, um, with one pack left to open, that's what it was. <clears throat> Alright, on to the final pack. This one is a Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. I would assume that these bonus packs, these regular trading card game packs, are all the same across whichever type of uh, box you buy. So, like, if, if you buy a Mewtwo box, you're going to get a regular Sun and Moon and a Burning Shadows. I don't know that for a fact, but I would assume. Um, I can't imagine that this would be that much of a random draw, but I could be wrong. Let me know down in the comments below if you got something different or what you got. Do you have a complete, do you have a complete set? Can you open cards? There we go. I think I opened these upside down. Okay, I did. That's all right. Kind of, kind of lost track of what I was doing there for a second. Kind of lost track. Okay. Uh, top card's always a, always a code. Card number one. Okay. Rodham Dex, who cares? Card number two. Semipore? I don't know. Kind of, kind of cute, I guess. Looks like it's a third stage. Oh, no, second stage. All right. Card number three. These are... Oh, we pulled an Electabuzz. Oh, dope. Hell yeah. That's sweet art of a great Pokemon. I love Electabuzz. Electabuzz. That's awesome. I did not expect that. Card number whatever. Energy. Card number this. Um, Palosand? Palosand? I don't know. It has the reflective kind of background. Looks good with the purple. Um, it's a thing made of sand, which means I don't like it. So it can just go away. Go over there. Uh, this card I looked at, but it doesn't matter because it kind of sucks anyway. It's just a uh, bodybuilding dumbbells. James Willems, I found a card for you. Whoops. Oops. Meowth. Cool. Cool. Almost asked a really dumb question about why everything uh, looks like it's on a beach. Uh, and then I remember that it's the Alolan region. And there's beaches everywhere. So. Ooh, there we go. Snubble. Snuffle. That's good art. I like that art. Good art. Good art. Cute Pokemon. Win win. This, this thing. Pansage. Pansage. No, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, down to two cards left. So let's leave on a winner. I don't think this is a winner. What? Crowagunk? It, like it looks like there's a bus in the background though. That's cool. Has a little pineapple on it. Uh, upon further inspection, it is not a bus. It's just a, it's just a van. Last card of the day. A Pikachu or a Pichu? No, a Pikachu. Very cool. It looked it it looked a little small. Pichu has like a big head. Um. All right, cool. That's a good final pull. That's this is good art as well. I kind of like the more hand drawn, hand drawn stuff. Um. Has a little bit of a stylistic difference to it. There you go. Uh, the best three cards that I pulled from this. Uh, obviously, number one. That beautiful. Oh, cool. You Okay, you're done now. Good. 
Uh, this beautiful Lapras GX card has a little texture. Hopefully it picks up okay on camera, but has a really nice texture to it. Very cool. This Grouthy was great. Love the art. Love the reflectiveness of the card. And then last but not least, the main man, Electabuzz. Hell yeah. Woo, Electabuzz. Uh, and the only reason, like, this one would go, like, slightly higher is just... I like the art a little bit more than I like the art for this Electabuzz. So there you have it. That's what you get in the box of... Let me get the title right. I don't know where I, what I did with it. Detective Pikachu Mewtwo GX Case File. Uh, you get four Detective Pikachu expansion packs. What do they call them? Game cards. I don't know. You get four packs of four cards. You get two additional booster packs. You get a big foil card. You get this same card, but smaller, like regular size. Um, all for $20. So this one's double the money, but double the contents of the regular Pikachu. But not quite as much as the Green Ninja, the Charizard, and the Lunchbox. So stay tuned to find out what's in those boxes, and we'll see you next time.